Hello, I'm Aman, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how customers can troubleshoot the issue when the AWS Direct Connect virtual interface is down. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the Direct Connect console. Select virtual interface and then check the status of the WIF and BGP peering. If the WIF is down, then verify if the underlying physical connection is up or down. The connection can be in the same account as the WIF or in a different account in your organization or your provider. If the physical connection is up, then verify the layer 2 configuration on your device and in the AWS management console. This configuration includes the VLAN ID with .1Q encapsulation and also includes the intermediate device between IP addresses. Some network providers might also use Q in Q tagging, which can alter your tagged VLAN. Your device can now ping the Amazon Peer IP sourcing from your Peer IP. When the layer 2 test is positive, confirm the BGP configuration on your device with the parameters specified in downloaded configuration file. The parameters include local and remote ASN, local and neighbor IP address for BGP peering, and BGP MD5 password. Make sure that your device isn't blocking ingress or egress from TCP port 179 and other appropriate ephemeral ports. Finally, if the BGP comes up and then goes down immediately, verify that your device isn't advertising more than 100 prefixes to AWS by BGP. By default, AWS only accepts up to 100 prefixes for private slash transit WIF and 1000 prefixes for public WIF. So now you know how to troubleshoot the issue when the AWS Direct Connect virtual interface is down. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.